So I've finished smoothing and painting this piece for another episode, making my 3D printer YouTube presentable. In this video, I'll be using some trade grade acrylic urethane two-part catalyzing high build primer, and it was a good experience. This stuff is in a league of its own, and you can tell straight away that it's a big jump from DIY style rattle can products up to an automotive trades product. I've got this piece here I have been working on. I had to print it in two pieces so I've already joined it with two part epoxy and lightly sanded it off camera. As per the Concept Paints HS 2K Primer technical data sheet I'm mixing the material at four parts primer and one part hardener. I don't have any disposable measuring containers at the moment so I'm using I'm using an empty paint container with a metric steel ruler. I will pour the primer to 20 millimeters and add four millimeters of hardener on top of that. Outside of Concept Paint's technical data sheet, I've chosen to apply the material with a mini high density foam roller and a brush. Because one, I don't have a spray gun I want to put this stuff through and this way I don't have to clean out the thinners and stuff. All I then have to do is throw out the roller and brush. As per the data sheet, I will apply one coat and allow five to 10 minutes flash time for a skin to form. Then I will apply another coat and I will give the piece, and I will then give the piece 24 hours to cure which is my favorite thing about this product because it's catalyzing and not air drying. You can build up to three to four coats with a 15 minute flash time in between.
So I've finished applying the two coats of the High Build Primer and given it 24 hours to cure. I'm now going to sand the piece with some P240 grit sandpaper, sandpaper as per Concept Paint's technical data sheet. And it definitely only needs P240. The way this stuff sands is just awesome. It's easy to bring it all down flat and it's awesome the way it does, doesn't does clog the sandpaper very quickly. And again you can straight away tell this is trade grade product because it just works.
now that I have finished sanding the piece with the P240, I'm now giving the piece a wet sand with some 1200 wet and dry and some soapy water. With the piece wet sanded, I'm now spraying on the top coat, which unfortunately I've dropped the can and broke the nib. So I've decanted it to use in my airbrush. And I use the airbrush again, just for minimal cleanup. So with the piece all finished, it looks really good. There's a few lines where I didn't focus because I knew that they would be covered by other pieces, but all in all it was the best 3D print smoothing experience I've had. It just worked. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe.